What's up everybody, it's your man Chief Mac here and today we're going to be going over how to install Arma 3's Task Force Radio Mod into TeamSpeak. In the previous video, which you can see annotated on the bottom of the screen, we showed how to install TeamSpeak as well as really any other mod into Arma 3. But with Task Force Radio, there's another step you've got to follow to make sure that Arma can communicate with TeamSpeak via the, team, the Task Force Radio Mod. So as you recall, in the download folder for Task Force Radio, there was an Arma 3 folder, a crazy antiquated old TeamSpeak folder, and then a TeamSpeak 3 client folder. We're going to be copying the contents of the TeamSpeak 3 client folder from within the mod into the TeamSpeak 3's root directory. So oh, the root directory sounds a little bit, do I even want to try and mess with that? Super easy to find, and this process isn't any more complicated than installing the mod, so stick with me. Uh, you're going to find TeamSpeak 3. I have it on my desktop, so I'm just going to simply right-click on it. Go down to Properties. Oh, God, going into the Properties. Don't worry, guys, stick with me. All you got to do, click this f Open File Location button. Boom, and it Windows will automatically bring up the root directory for TeamSpeak 3. All you've got to do from the TeamSpeak 3 client folder from within the mod that we downloaded, you just take this plugins folder and we're going to drag it and drop it into the root directory for TeamSpeak 3. We're going to do it right now. It's going to give you a pop up that it's like, oh Jesus, you know, there's something going on. Don't want to read it. Just stick with me. Uh, it says you have the folders, files have the same name. You'll be asked if you want to replace those files. Do you still want to merge this folder plugins with this one plugins? So what we're going to do, we're merging two folders, guys. The folder named plugins in the TeamSpeak 3 root directory. We're going to merge that with the plugins folder located within the Task Force Radio mod. When you merge two folders, it just takes the differences. It keeps any duplication from happening. So essentially, it's the same as quickly copying and pasting the contents of this folder into the contents of this folder. So just going to say yes to that. And then it's going to tell you that we need administrator access because we're copying from outside of a program file into a program file. Nothing to worry about. Just going to click continue. And we're done. To make sure we're done, you're going to open up the plugins folder in the TeamSpeak 3 directory. And you're going to open up the plugins folder in the mod that we downloaded. You're going to see we've got Radio Sounds, Radio Sounds New, and Radio Sounds Old. And this is in the, the TeamSpeak 3 directory. Over here we've also got Sounds, Sounds New, Sounds Old. This is in the, the Mods directory. We've also got Task Force Radio Win32 and the Win64.dll files. And you can see we've also got those files in the TeamSpeak 3 plugins folder as well. So this merge has been successful and we're done with the mods in terms of copying files and whatnot. The final step is to make sure that we actually connect the Task Force Radio mod to TeamSpeak. So you've installed it to Arma, you've put the plugins into the TeamSpeak 3 folder, and now all we gotta do is make sure that the, the mod and the plugin is active in TeamSpeak 3. TeamSpeak 3, and you can connect to any server, although I recommend connecting to our server, obviously. Uh, so you're going to click on your own name here. You're going to see you know, your general description with your server groups and nothing else. So you're going to go to Settings, and then click on Plugins. And you'll see now, if you had visited this area before, the Task Force Arma 3 Radio would not have been in this list of plugins. But since we just copied those plugin files from the mod into the TeamSpeak 3 directory, the Task Force Arma 3 Radio is now listed in the plugins. So all you do is check the box. I always click Reload All when I make any changes. And then you click Close. Now when you look in your description, you've got the same old stuff, but you've also got Task Force Radio Status 0.9.8. Now 0.9.8, that's just the version of the mod we installed in the previous video. 
and it's going to say connected, no, playing, no, but that's because I'm not playing Arma 3 right now. Once you're in a server that's using Task Force Radio, it'll say connected, yes, playing, yes, and that means that your voice is being piped correctly from Arma 3 through the mod into TeamSpeak, and everything is working correctly. So super simple process, guys. Simple as merging the plugins folder from the mod with the plugins folder from the TeamSpeak 3 directory. So hopefully you had no problems installing this mod, guys. Sometimes it's a little bit complicated, but this is just not one of those cases. So stick around for the next video where we're going to be working with the 7-zip file manager to unzip some of those larger, the texture packs, the maps, things like that. So stay tuned, guys, and thanks for watching.